Hi, good evening. Uh, for Hong Kong time, it's uh, evening. Uh, for UK time, maybe, you know, it's at noon, 2 p.m. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching uh, Figure Talk episode 18. Uh, my name is Ryan No. This is, yeah, the 18 times uh, I am doing this show for Figure Talk. Uh, once again, this is focused on 1-6 scale. And many audience and friends are uh, asking me why you didn't show some damn toys, you know, 1-6 military figures. Yeah. And I, I just follow all your advice and then try to do some, you know, there's actually there's lots of 1-6 scale figures in the market right now for recent years. Maybe you could receive information or you could receive final products maybe uh, over five or six pieces every month for different different area of 1-6 figures. So uh, there's a lot of choice and uh, military is one of the biggest share in the market but uh, also modern militaries. So damn toys take, take a very important role for the modern military in the recent market, you know. I think uh, only damn toys or maybe soldier story, only, yeah, only some, a few small company or new company, they, they are doing modern military stuff. So damn toys is probably the, the best or the largest company. They release most military figures and they release uh, many of the modern military figures, yeah. For sure. So anyway, uh, this episode is in English, yeah, because yeah, I, I thought that there's more people in English, or there are more people from the foreign country besides Hong Kong playing collecting one six scale military figures. So this time is the, uh, you know, uh, the perfect military contractors. They call PCMS. Anyway, it's P PMC. Yeah, many people say PMC, but but uh, for the box art, they say is PMC PM. SC perfect military what's that perfect military S I forgot what is the S anyway most people call PMC okay so this one is yeah perfect military and security companies oh I, I yeah it's over there PM PM SCS private military security companies but most of the you know we might know that or we are we are we are uh, used to call is PMC private military contractors there is no company uh, doing some uh, you know uh, paid jobs in in the in the in the war zone or in in, in Afghans or in Iran or no, no, Iraq or, or even in Sy Syria this one is from Syria and uh, so I think uh, this is the first time those PMC appear in Syria in one six scale products so uh, it, it would be a very interesting uh, uh, products for military collectors so you would see this time I have some you know multi I have some you know information uh, index for me to to remind me to 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 talk about this because you know military stuff is really really professional and you know there's a lot of uh, accessory and uh, uh, very com complex uh, in, in, in the in the sense of you know his uh, its details and, and information is very complex, so so we have to remember remember many many terms or or, or different names. So it would be it's not not easier easier job for for me. And um, actually, yeah, uh, I'm focusing on the on the production and the product size. So let let let's have a close look of these figures, and I also show this. Maybe how about we go to from the head head to toes for the first round and I'm going to show you yeah the, the head scrub is you know pretty cool and uh, I'll try to show you the yeah it's not really bad the things I have to complain is the paint job of the sunglasses you know it looks not transparent right yeah not transparent so I think um, uh, it, it can it can do better Anyway, but you know, damn toy is very good in their quality and details. And you can see this is the focal focal point of the product is the tactical leaf jacket. This is a kind of tactical jacket, but they call leaf jacket. I'm I'm not sure why it's called tactical leaf jacket. Anyway, we go uh, on the body part, and you could see some you know familiar uh, camel camel pattern. This is tiger strip pattern of U.S. Army. Yeah, I, I might know the reason they are using the tiger strip uh, uh, camo for these figures or for PMCs because you know uh, many of the of the local local armies in, in in Iraq or in Syria they are using some you know not very up to date 
uniform from 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 the NATO or from from the U.S. Army. So they are using the Tiger Strip. Tiger Strip is already, I think, is 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 retired from the U.S. Army. But you could see in the most many pictures of on of the on the news, they are showing some Tiger Strip uniforms, pants, jackets, etc. So I I can guess that the PMC wearing this Tiger Strip to make them more uh un unwinsable, unwinsable because looks like they are they are the local armies yeah it's more easier for them to you know to do some difficult job in the in the war zone okay um you can see the tactical growth is and once again there's a very detailed but you know it's a it's a plastic structure not a real growth yeah but it, it could uh you know uh perfectly uh disrupting the, the the appearance of the tactical growth and this bed I thought I'm not sure what is the usage of this but anyway this is the bed and there's also a backpack backpack once again they include many patches you know different patches you know actually the, most of the PMC is uh, retired soldiers or veteran soldiers from US armies or maybe UK armies anyway they may have some you know old patches on their backpack to show their history or maybe to show them you know don't touch me I am veteran okay and the tiger strip pants so it's all looking but you know in recent few years I think we this kind of uh, tiger strip uniforms in 160 already disappeared because I think uh, no company releasing them in this years Maybe the longest, maybe the early, maybe the last one is from Hot Toys. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, and you can see this jacket. We call a, we call APC, armor plate carrier. This one, uh, and with a chick with a chest reach, this hold all the magazine pouch. Yeah. So there is there is uh, at least three layers. You know, the chest reach and the APC, and also the jacket and also the uniform and also the tier you can see the black tier here so at least there is five layer tier uniform BDU and jacket uh, APC and the checks wrist yeah five layers and some layers you know holdings magazine pouch and magazines so it's very complicated and you look very detailed you know many 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 new new, new collectors when they are um, uh, collecting or buying some military figures they will just say oh wow so detailed and then they spend some money but one more more important they spend maybe three or four hours to make it you know make all the stuff post or make all the stuff hanging on the right position it is a difficult task job so that's why I don't do it in the videos otherwise we will spend three to three hours to take the videos and and yeah my my, my very good colleagues already do it for me every time yeah so we can focus on the, the on the on the on the you know significant part of the figures I think the another living living part of the figure is the modern AK yeah um, yeah we, 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 we could know why many PMC using AK though it is a Russian or you know or Eastern European weapons for a long time but the modern AK is proved to be a very effective and 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 you know reasonable price weapons for many 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 armies or, or even PMCs and uh, as, I, as, I, as far as I know some some weapons from Germany or from US there is some embargo or restriction to sell to a certain area so that's why we could see many 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 armies in most countries or developed countries or PMC they are using AK because AK I think they has no embargo or they has no restriction for the sales of these weapons but they prove to be a very efficient weapon so that's why you can see there's a lot of AKs in the you know in different areas or different countries so this AK proved to be a very good weapons and proved to be a very good one to six scale weapons uh, yeah I don't spend time to to do this because you know many of the of the past can be removed just like a wheel one yeah the only difficult only different is they cannot they, they are not real weapons okay put it back with your 
glasses. And uh, I'm going to also talk about this boot. This boot looks very good. And there is a specific name. I don't I don't mention it here, but you can see all the details with this boot. So very good boots. Okay. Okay. And we are going to show you another two or three points of very you know funny or interesting point. Maybe web point go first. You know. Most military specialists or lovers, they, do, they should know that this is a Glock 18. You know, Glock pistol is very familiar. I mean, I think very popular weapons, I mean, the small weapons uh, in many areas. But this one, G18, is different. You could identify it's G or, or Glock, but uh, um, it is Glock 18. And the silencers all is in sand desert camo. And this is the uh, special magazine. To make this Glock 18 can can you know maybe I think more than 100 100 shots 100 bullets inside because the round shape magazine can carry more than I guess maybe 60 or 70 pieces of bullets but correct me if I'm I'm not correct okay please okay anyway and forgive me if I'm wrong but anyway it's make this pistol more effective and more you know dangerous you know, because when they are using this Glock 18, they don't have to re remove and replace the magazine. They just keep bang, 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 bang. Maybe for three minutes or for 10 minutes, just like a, you know, a, a, a MG. Only the difference is MG can shoot more. Yeah, so it is very powerful for PMC, okay? And with tactical growth, yeah, if we can see how to the details. Yeah. And also, there's some pouches. I think mean, some pouches is too too much, so my colleagues didn't put it on. Anyway, we're going to and uh, this cap, this hat, this hat, the the US flag can be removed, the patches can be removed, and this is used to be a you know, yeah, yeah. I don't try to do it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is very you know. Uh, regular or, or common common tools or equipment of the PMC in you know desert area yeah now uh, it can you know have to do you know pro uh, prevent the sunshine you know uh, the desert the desert storm etc etc anyway going to the last important parts of this pro this figures this is the wooden target and uh, yeah it's not you no know, it's not s s special yeah very very no it's made in wood made in real wood but i think uh there's no products including this wooden target yeah this this might be the first one and funny thing is they have two two paper i think it's two paper two different papers yeah uh -oh. yeah the first one is look like a human shape and the second one i'm not sure what is it Maybe it's showing it's some for competition or, or you know a training or drill. Anyway, if you have two pieces of different different target. Yeah. Okay. So this is a wooden target. Anyway, yep. So maybe we have a head to toe shot again and I will turn around the figures. Yeah. The head scrub is looks like you know a um 30 or 40 years of age of uh you know a white people a white man so he has some gray hair and looks a lot young you know a lot of wrinkles but i think this is uh is a is a good uh, uh re re restructuring of the the pmc you know all of them are region or retired armies from with retired soldiers so they, they are not too young but they are experienced you know and dangerous I, I i i can i can just remember what is the good name to describe the pmc they are dangerous yeah because they fight for the salary yeah fight for the company yeah so they are employed militants yeah i'm not sure militant is a good good or, or respectable terms to to describe them but anyway i just try to to describe in different name 
Okay, could you go just that down for the details? Okay, the very details one. It's a good hash graph. Or even for you know medieval or ancient collectors, they can use it. Yeah. Yeah. When I turn it around and then show the back. And then yeah, I think those military collectors will be happy with this episode because we try to. You know, I think this is, as I could remember, this is an exclusive product. That means this is not a regular item. Some people may not can have a hand on it. So you might have to try to get one on the online retails or maybe maybe a, a little bit higher price. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is not a regular item from them twice. So this is exclusive items of the SHCC. And then maybe somewhere else you can find some, but not, not many, not plenty of them. Anyway. Uh, this is exclusive, yeah, and looks very cool. And I hope uh, if you really want to get one of of them, this video can help you to do the very good judgment the, with the final product. Yeah, no need to for me to speak or no need to ask a question, and you know what you are going to plan to buy or not. Yeah, you know the answers. Yeah. With all the accessory here, it is worth the price anyway. But I'm not sure what is the price you are going to get. Okay. Okay, anyway, yeah, this is the episode 18 Vicar Talk by Ryan Note. Uh, please remember to share my video if you like and ask more collectors of your local area or your friends or your, or your, or your, or your husband or your brothers. They, they like to collect one, one six scale military figures or figures. Yeah. Uh, this would be a good show or or I, I think this is really a good show for you to have more ideas for the products not just products but also some production information or some you know advanced level of the knowledge of the figures industry not just from the products from a customers view but, but from a you know from a people from a guys from the industry myself anyway thanks for watching and hope you like the show enjoy and see you later bye bye